Okay guys, big theme for today is train how you fight. How do we do that? Well, we introduce stress into the equation. We've got two drills today that I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna run. One of them is a flow from barricade to barricade following a short distance sprint. I'm gonna engage multiple targets and transition to the pistol. We're gonna talk about how acceptable sight picture, grip, stance come into play for a drill like that. We're gonna do the throttle control drill followed by a short sprint. We get to 20, 10, and five. Shoot five rounds at each target in a small dot. We're gonna check and see what our group looks like and how long it took us to effectively engage that target. Once we've induced stress, focusing on acceptable sight picture and throttle control. Throttle control. It's a rifle drill with three separate points to engage one target, five rounds at each point, 20, 10 and five. The goal here is to manage your rate of fire at each distance appropriately. As we get closer, we're gonna be shooting faster. As at the farthest point, we're gonna be shooting a little bit slower. So we're working on recoil management here and acceptable sight picture. Let's get into it. Okay guys, 20 yards, five rounds. Ten yards, five rounds. Five yards, five rounds. And that's throttle control. Okay guys, let's talk about it. So as you can see, a couple flyers here, but the majority of the shots are here center where we want them to be. Again, the drill's called throttle control. So. As we're farther away, we can take a little bit more time. It's harder to make the shot. By default, we have to go a little bit slower. As we bridge the gap, as we get closer and closer, we can speed it up and speed it up. Here at the five is when we really have to focus on our recoil management and know our hold. I'm putting my dot in my aim point right here for this drill. As it goes farther back, my hold progresses more and more towards the center, and that's gonna depend on what you sight your rifle in at. Get right into it, ramp it up. Gonna run up and around the mountain down here, carry out a course of fire. We're gonna talk about recoil management and acceptable sight picture. Okay guys, so as you can tell, when you introduce stress into a situation, you start running in the beginning, you're tired, your heart rate's elevated, things get a little bit more complicated. You really gotta rein it in. The name of the game in this drill is acceptable sight picture and recoil management. So by doing that, I'm not trying to shoot 10 rings or X's here. I'm trying to put round center mass on these targets. And when my dot's center mass, I'm squeezing through the shot. I'm able to do that more effectively by maintaining a good grip and a good, a good aggressive posture. I'm into the gun on these shots. And that's gonna help me acquire my target, my acceptable sight picture a lot better, a lot smoother during some of these transitions. Earlier we did a drill called throttle control where we're shooting from 20, 10, and five, focusing on recoil management, as well as ramping it up as we get closer to the proximity of threat. This time we're gonna introduce some stress. I'm gonna sprint into it and do it from a sprint. And we'll see how the groups and the times are affected, my ability to manage that recoil, that throttle control, how it plays out on paper. So guys, as you can see, shots are all in, still what we call an acceptable group here. As you introduce stress, you just have to focus more on the basics, so a little bit down, but your grip, your stance, your sight picture all come into play a lot more once stress has been induced, and that's why we train. If you like the video, 
Leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.